invite Dr. Atul Kocha, CEO NAPH, for his talk on accreditation in India and its impact on medication safety. Over to you, sir. Thank you so much, Dr. Lalu. Thank you doc, so much, Dr. Vijay. Uh, good afternoon, Dr. Neelam, madam, for this uh, opportunity. I think this is so gladdening to see thousands and thousands of quality professionals, healthcare professionals joining today to observe this very, very important day. Uh, today, NABH touches about 15,000 hospitals and stands tall on the so shoulders of such quality professionals and doctors, nursing officers, pharmacists, and millions of others. So we've already believed, we always have believed that uh, all our standards, they are formed around a framework of patient safety and to prevent unintended harm. Uh, we specifically have included in our fifth edition standard, which is our most uh, ambitious standard till date, very objective, very transparent. We've already subdivided it, all our objective elements into core commitment, achievement, and excellence. And though all chapters are revolving around the basic framework of patient safety, but two specific chapters like chapter three and chapter six specifically address the issue of medication safety. The chapter third covers guidance for storage, prescription, administration, monitoring and documentation of drugs and emergency, high risk, high alert, Lhasa medicine, narcotics, uh, chemotherapeutic agents, anticoagulants, and even radioactive drugs. It also very comprehensively covers the issues related to consumables, implants and devices, and the sound inventory control practices. Uh, it lays stress on the formation of right types of committees, uh, the pharmacotherapeutic committee, and we play lots of emphasis on the correct reporting without the blame culture or the shame culture. We, all our NABH best practices uh, encourage uh, free and frank reporting of not only adverse reactions, but near misses. So, and even the newer standards lay lots of stress on medical uh, medicine, medication reconciliation also, and lots of emphasis on pharmacovigilance. So all the key action areas of WHO are totally integrated and incorporated uh, into the NABS standards. So thank you so much to uh, all of you quality heroes who are the frontline shoulders, frontline uh, warriors who have upheld the flag of quality and patient safety in today's world. And our patient safety and quality, the earlier our chapter six was labeled as continual quality improvement. We have relabeled it as the patient safety and quality, not only to stress uh, uh, that the importance of continual quality improvement, but also to bring back into the focus, the exact emphasis on treating and giving the holistic patient care. So I'm very proud and it's so, so, so very invigorating to see at close range such excellent work done by Kaho. And I must truly compliment and congratulate all of you under the guidance of Dr. Vijay Agarwal, Dr. Lalu Joseph, and the entire team of Kaho. It, uh, it really fills my heart with so much pride that the, the consortium of accredited hospitals, which is built around NABH hospitals, is, is doing so well. And we'll be, and the spirit of sharing, caring, collaborating, and co and cooperation, as Dr. Neelam very rightly pointed out, should not stop. And only then we can take this quality, the concept of herd quality to the last man in the line. We are as good as the weakest link in the chain. And if we are to bravely and you know, handle future pandemics, and I'm sure uh, they are going to be, uh, then we have to raise the very level to the last score of a big and diverse country and to the entire world. The basics, international patient safety goals of hand hygiene, surgical site safety, good communication practices, they must reach to the far and wide no corners of the entire world and the country. So thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. It's indeed a privilege to see so much good work being done at those range. So over to you, back to you, Dr. Lalu. Thank you so much once again. Thank you so much, uh, Atul, sir. Really appreciate you joining us and for the support extended by NABH for all our efforts and initiatives.